Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is Bizmaster Deluxe back again for another episode of Banjo Kazooie. Uh, in the last episode, we took down Treasure Trove Cove, um, getting 100% of the jiggies and notes there. And in this episode, we are going to go into, as I said, dirtier waters. So let's head on over and let's try to figure out. Well, we couldn't use this in the last episode, and now we can, so we might as well jump up here and look what we have. We got a uh, picture of the new level that we'll be going into, which is called Clinker's Cavern. And this is just bottles telling me how to put all the pieces in at once. Alright, so now we got that open. And there is the entrance to Clinker's Cavern. So let's head over there. Um, I haven't showed off where that is yet, but I will right now. So what you want to do is just go up here. And then... First thing, quick, um, let's go up here, and here we are. So, um, before, yeah, you saw that switch there, we couldn't get over there, we can't get over there at first, what you want to do is just, uh, smash that, and then now we can actually get over there. So let's jump across. And let's enter. Alright, and you know the drill. We got 10 jiggies to find and 100 notes to collect. And there's one new move. So um, let's just go ahead by jumping down here and killing this guy. First, what I want to do. Um, go up here. I'm gonna do a backflip. Okay, yeah, you really wanna watch out for those guys. Uh, what you're gonna do is just do uh, the peck. I can't remember the name of it, but as soon as, like, when you're going across it, so those guys get pounded. Because they can actually deal a lot of damage to you and just really piss you off in general. Um, here we have golden feathers, which we get into, because this is as part of the new move. As you can see, they're invulnerable to the feathers. Alright, so we're going to walk over here, this guy, grab these notes, and then we're going to walk over here and grab the yellow Jinjo. So we got, already got one Jinjo down here. Ground pound into that, and let's go over to the other... Oops. Probably grab that. And, um, yeah, what you see here is just a little tiny part of the level. Once we get across here, we'll get to the actual bread and potatoes of the level, if you will. Oops, I'm Clanker. He's kind of really intimidating, actually, but. Alright, let's go just get, get our breath back here. And he wants to be freed because he doesn't like being down there. So, what we are going to do. Get a little, little bit of advantage here. Just ground pound. We're actually gonna go down here. See where he's chained up. I don't know. This is like when I was younger playing this game. This was always like the most difficult section for me because I wasn't really good with the, the swimming controls. But as you can see, I've got some notes here. Um. Yeah, if you swim through these uh, air bubbles, you get more, or your air gets refilled, which is nice. Because you would never make it out otherwise. What you're going to want to do is swim through this keyhole um, three times. I don't really understand <laughs> how the uh, key turns when you all you do is swim through it, but whatever. So with that, the key spins, and Clanker is released. Well, at least up to the surface. First, um, we're not done down here yet by any means. <laughs> gonna do a couple more things here. What we're gonna do is collect these notes. I'm gonna grab this air bubble just to be safe. Hopefully. There we go. I'm just gonna grab these notes, and there is also a green Jinjo down here, too. So we're gonna have to grab that. Uh, where is he? 
I should probably start grabbing these air bubbles. I'm kind of running low. Yeah, it refills two um, little blue honeycomb pieces. So each time you get an air bubble, this is not looking good for me here. Kind of missing. Uh, let's go over here and just get some more air back. This guy. Wait for it. Get some more. Alright, now that we're full, let's go pick up this green ninja. And then we had one or two more notes, didn't we? Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so let me grab one of these air bubbles and we can finally get back to the surface. Um. I did say I love platforming, and platforming is definitely my favorite genre, but something I just can't stand in platform games is water levels. I don't know, I just hate hate the thought of it. It's just too slow for me. I don't know. Just kind of boring. Whatever. Do what you gotta do. We gotta do what you gotta do, right? So we're gonna do a backflip up here, and then get a kazooie, and we're gonna go grab this J. Look our first of the level. Alright, so now that we got that. Uh, we're still a little angry. He's complaining about his teeth now and how they hurt. So we're gonna have to help him out by uh, performing some dental work. So let's just go jump on these platforms here. Let's see these gold teeth. So let's shoot some eggs out. Out any toothaches inside of him. Oh, there's one on the board. Of course. So now we'll get that side up too. Just go ahead and swim right in his tooth and grab the mumbo token. And then we're just gonna go over to the other side real quick because you can't get the, the reward without going through the mouth. And we just collected our second jiggy. So there we go. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to jump down here. Get this uh, little rat, little crab trying to attack me here, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these notes around the outside. And then we're going to head into Clanker. <laughs> it's kind of the nastiest assault I've ever seen in my life, but alright. Apparently he's like a garbage disposal, but... Whatever. Alright, so you notice one of these is one of these hoops is green right here. So what we're gonna do is jump through it. And now we got a timer. And the objective here is to just go through every single green hoop. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Alright. And then we wanna do a backflip. So not too difficult, even though I did mess up there once. But then the water level lowers, and we get our outrage, I'm sorry. And we obtain another genie, so let's go ahead and bring that up. Okay. And now that we have that, well, let's go ahead. Let's grab that. Um, hmm, trying to figure out what I want to do next. Let's just go over here and grab these notes. There's actually um, a ginger right down here. I believe it is the pink. Yep. Let's just go ahead and grab him. Alright, now let's go. If we go out over this way, if we continue going that way, um, you just exit through one of his gills, so nothing too spectacular over there. So now we're just going to go down here and grab these notes. And then, I don't really believe there's anything else over here, but notes, but whatever. Now we're just going to exit. 
it right now through his, uh... Grunty Switch. Just eyes pop up there. And uh, we're gonna wanna just dodge these saws. Okay, try to dodge the saws, I guess. You can kinda, it kinda helps you out because you can see where they like slice on the uh, ground there. Or whatever. We got the big game, boys. Not too worried about getting hurt that much. Again, this game gives you a lot of honeycomb pieces, so... Alright, so we fall through there. Let's just jump on here and fly. Because you notice there was always a little, uh... There's a gold feather with a little, um... Hidden passage up here, so let's go ahead and grab that feather. And then we get our hidden move. Yes, it is uh, invincibility for uh, for a shortened period of time. Um, what you just do is Kazooie just apparently puts her wings around you, and that apparently is just invincible invincibility. So um, you use up gold feathers when um, using the invincibility, and you can only carry ten at a time for now. Uh, the cheats eventually help you carry twenty. So let's go ahead and use this. As soon as Bottle gets up, yakking. Right, let's go grab that. And haul it over to the other side. And grabbing our fourth, maybe? Oh, fifth. Alright, awesome. So then, gotta do the same thing to come back here. Uh, this can actually be very helpful later in the game. So just keep in mind we can do that. Alrighty, so it is just drop down. I believe that is um, everything we can do in Clanker. So let's we'll just get out. It doesn't really matter which side for now. I really don't have a set plan on like which way to go through the game. I just kind of just do whatever comes to mind at the time. Let's just go out here and see what's up. Alright. Okay, first thing before I I always forget this, but um first thing we want to do is go down here and just go right up in here. Did, did I miss it or Oh, it's right there. You can see it. I just apparently missed it. There we go. We got another honeycomb piece, and we're just one away from an extra life, or an extra honeycomb container, so that's pretty sweet if I do say so. so um, let's go ahead and get here. Kill him, grab his eggs. Um, there's no real point in this, so I don't really know why I'm going to just wait for this uh, fin to go up a little bit. See, there's a pad here. What we're gonna do is jump and then get over here, so we can jump and get these notes. Climb up here, grab these eggs, and grab the mumbo token. You're definitely gonna want to look out for the mumbo tokens. As, as I said before, it's not required to get 100% of them, but um, you're gonna need quite a few. And it's really annoying if you have to come back to later to the earlier levels to try and find them. It just gets really, 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 really annoying. So, <laughs> alright. So make sure you always grab those if you see them. Um, come on. Grab that note. I don't want to do it. We're going to have to come here again, but... I'm going to get that. I'm going to get this orange thing, go. Get a life. I'm just going to go back here one more time. Yeah, 
Kazooie, because if you're not on Kazooie here, you'll just slide right down. Annoying. And I believe this is the other uh, honeycomb piece. Yep. Look at that. So with that, we now have... I don't know how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six honeycomb pieces. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, so if you can see down there, there is a... Uh, Passage, so we'll just go ahead and swim down here and see what's up. Hello? Oh, we got a little path. Just a neon green sort of room here. Got a bunch of notes, and we're uh, trying to get attacked by those weird like, looking crabs with huge eyes. So let's, let's just grab these notes first and dodge them. Now what we're gonna do is run over the Snip the beams, uh, our wee big giant ones fight us. Well, these guys don't live, so we can fight them. Hey! 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 If you ground pound them, it's a lot easier, as you see. Because if, if you don't, you have to roll into them twice. It's annoying. And they can just get up on you, so. Uh, with that, defeating all those four uh, super mutants, we get the next jiggy. So just uh, backflip up here, hopefully. Uh, no. So that's all we can do in here, is just a little tiny room. So, let's get out of here. You can see there's some stuff in these little tubes. And there's some gold stuff in that tube on the left there. So let's just go down there. Let's just get our breath back first. And our, uh, my suspicions were correct. They were notes. So let's go down here. Grab these. We're already up to 80 notes on the level, so that's pretty sweet. Um, if you noticed when we went down here, there was another path. With this level, it's just kind of knowing which tunnels you've went through already, because a lot of the jiggies are just these little tunnels underwater here. So. Like right down there, you see we haven't run in there yet, but I mean they kind of look all the same except for that green one at the end there. So let's go down here and see what's in here. I believe there's a blue Jinjo in here. Nope. This has got to be the Jiggy one then. There should be a Jiggy at the end of this tunnel here. With a grate. Yep. So that is our seventh Jiggy. So let's try to get out of here before we die of suffocation. Or drowning, I guess. Not really suffocation. Again, in uh, Banjo Tooie, they really like um, they really updated the mechanics of the whole swimming and flying thing, and it makes it a lot easier. If I ever do that game in the future, I'll show you how. It is. I'll probably do it for the N64 if I do it. But we'll see. So the whole Xbox One announced today it just kind of doesn't look like my thing right now, and an Xbox 360, but. I'll probably be getting rid of the Xbox sometime soon just because I don't know, I just I don't really don't play it that much anymore. I don't really have any good games. But here we go. Alright with that, we got all jiggies now, so we have or all the Jinjos, sorry. Now we have eight jiggies on the level. We only have two left, so hmm. Oh, I know where they are. Almost forgot there for a second. Alright, what we're gonna do is come up here. So we just jump up here. And we're actually gonna wanna jump on this. And just wait till he shoots us up. And we're gonna wanna grab these notes. Alright, there we are. So we're up to nine jiggies now. <coughs> Sorry for my uh, occasional sniffle. 
I'm not really sure what it is. It's kind of an either allergies or a cold or both lately. The pollen has been killing me as of late. So, I don't know. Thanks for uh, putting up with that trash. It's hard for me to I'm sick of allergy season, but whatever. What we're going to do here is just jump up over here and then jump down here and we're going to hit that with our little piece like it. And there we are, we all have, we have, now have all 10 cheese in level. And we got the empty switch, and now we can get the notes, but it's almost the notes we need to get still are just right down here, so. We're gonna jump down here, grab these, make sure we don't get hit by this guy. Uh, grab the mumble token. And, really, using two notes. <laughs> This is unfortunate. Um, Alright, um, I really have no idea where these notes are going to be. So, uh, I'm just going to go... I think they might... So I'm pretty sure I got them all down at the bottom. Something tells me... Look over here. So scratch that. Yeah, something's telling me they're right up here. Hopefully. Oh, this is just. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's cool. One note. Hmm. I may have missed a lot somewhere. I guarantee you it's probably at the bottom of this, uh... <coughs> at the bottom of this whole level here. So let's, let's, let me go down here quick. Sorry, this kind of took a little bit, but... It always sucks when you have to come all the way back down here for one little note. Uh, you miss. Uh, I can't see. Probably just missed one. Guess not. Well, I'm extremely confused now. All right, so now I will cut out, <laughs> and once I find that last note, I will uh, cut back in and let you guys know where it is. All right, see you then. Really, really. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I've been looking for that note for a, a good, like, five to ten minutes now. And I just plainly missed it when I came up here the first time. And I went like this. Oh, well, you probably saw it. Uh, it's, well, here it is. Got all hundred notes in the world. Awesome. So with that, finally... done with Clinker's Cavern. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And then we will look at the whole wrap up. I'll show you the whole total of what we got so far here. That was kind of embarrassing that took me that long to miss that simple moment. Alright. We're going to do just climb up this ladder here. Backflip. Just get on Kazooie because it's faster. Jump over here, drop down, and get out of here. Alright, so with that, um, we are finished with Clanker's Cavern. But before I want to go, I just wanted to do one thing. Um, this is very easy to miss. There's a little uh, switch right there. Pushes that up, and what we're gonna do is go over here. It's very easy to miss because it kind of blends in. I think they kind of just meant for that to happen, so it took you a while to find it. That can get really frustrating if you don't know it's there, and that's what you have to do next. So let's just go up there quick. And then there is another switch.
right here. So let's hit that, and then it opens up a break that we didn't see before. So let's jump down here. Come on. Alright, so we're just gonna go through here quick. New music, so you know what that means. A new level. So let's put all those in there. And with that, we unlock the level Bubble Goop Swamp. Awesome. So, um, in the next episode, guys, we'll be heading... Well, first we gotta find where that is. But then we'll be heading into Bubble, bubble Goop Swamp. It looks pretty spooky. So, uh, yeah. In the next episode, guys, we'll be heading over there. Thanks for watching. You ain't ever gonna change You got a gypsy song to play And you were born for leaving If you think I was born for leaving Then I think I was born for truth Then man, I'd be lying if there was a time I hadn't been thinking about you